This is BMAT 2021, section 2, question 13. So here we have a diagram which shows the changes in the lining of a uterus um, across a period of days. Um, point S is where ovulation occurs, and we also have these two other sections, um, Q and R. And the first question we have to work out is, how does progesterone levels change, leading to the effect during Q? So let's look at what happens in Q. Here we can see that the uterus lining, um, it, the thickness decreases. So we're looking for something that causes a thickness to decrease. Um, so let's look at what happens to progesterone. What does progesterone do? What is its function in the body? It's a hormone that, when released, prepares the body for pregnancy. And when we're pregnant, we want a thick uterus um, lining to sort of support that, um, that environment. So progesterone is going to thicken the lining. So if we have a decrease in thickness, we're probably going to have a decrease in progesterone. So that's the answer to our first question. Our second question is how do the estrogen levels change leading to the effect during R? So R is this section here. We can see that the uterus is thickening, the lining is thickening. So let's look at our role of estrogen. Estrogen is another hormone involved in um, regulating female um, sex organs. And it again prepares the body for pregnancy, so it's going to thicken that lining. And if in R we're thickening the lining, that must mean we have an increase in estrogen. So that's the answer to our second question. Our final question is how does the concentration of LH change at S? So S is here. We know that's when ovulation occurs, so S is our ovulation point. Um, but what does LH do? What is its role? So it's another hormone, it's the luteinizing hormone. And this one plays a very special role. It is involved in stimulating the release of the egg. So ovulation, stimulating release of the egg, is going to increase. We must have LH to produce ovulation, so therefore its concentration must increase. So our final answer overall is the progesterone decreases, the estrogen increases, and the LH increases. Therefore, that corresponds to an answer of A.